subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is watsi here and today in this video i'm going to show you uh, how you can resolve the error that when you are installing windows on your laptop or pc when you're selecting any disk none of the options are appearing and if you press on windows can be installed on this drive you got an um, error message windows cannot be installed on the disk the selected disk is of the gpd partition style so in this video i'm going to show you how you can resolve this problem and how you can successfully install windows on the laptop which is facing this problem so let's begin the tutorial so first of all what we are going to do is that we are simply going to close all the boxes from here and we are going to exit the windows setup so for this process you are going to need a second laptop or pc because we need to change the partition style of our usb which has the actual bootable windows so once we have exited we are just going to unplug our usb and we are just simply going to power off our pc now this is the windows that had the bootable drive so for now i'm going to connect it to my second laptop and i'm going to show you which changes you need to make in order to successfully install windows so now here i am on my second windows pc or laptop first of all i'm going to re-plug in the usb which has the bootable windows here it is so the first thing that you need to do is to format this bootable windows right click on it make sure the file system is ntfs and we're going to press on start so now it's going to quick format the video yes and now it's going to format our bootable drive so you can see that the format is completed we're going to press on ok and close from here so now the first thing that you need to do is you need to have a software called rufus so you can get it or and download it free from this website so i will put this website's link in the video description here it is rufus.ie so this website's link will be just below the like button anyways once you have downloaded this software here is its icon you are going to double press to run it so this interface will pop up first of all make sure that your usb is connected to it and disk or iso so first of all we are going to select our windows 10 iso image so in my case uh, it's here here it is windows 10 pro iso file we are going to select it and now the most important thing is that here you can see partition scheme here it is selected gpt or mbr if it is selected mbr make sure that you select gpt this is the only way that your laptop will uh, read this and will successfully install windows so here you need to do nothing make sure that fire 32 is your default and 8192 so now we are going to press the start button here it will say that all the data on our usb drive will be formatted so make sure that you select the correct external usb drive we are going to press on ok and here you can see it is starting the process with our gpt partition so it will take some time so we are going to wait until the process is completed okay the process has been completed and our external usb drive has become a bootable windows drive with the correct format so we are just simply going to press close from here i am just going to go to recheck it here you can see here it is our drive and it has loaded so what we are going to do is that we are simply going to eject our usb drive from here and now we are going to reinstall it to our first laptop which had the problem with not installing windows so now let's move towards our first laptop again so here is my usb in which i re uh, made the bootable windows with the correct format so first of all i am going to connect it to my pc or laptop which had the problem of not booting windows with the rpt i think format problem anyways we are going to uh, start our system and first of all you need to make sure that you open setup of your system i'm using a dell laptop so its setup key is f2 for your it may be different so you can google that here i'm going to go to the boot menu by pressing the right key here i am going to go down where it says boot list options which is currently uefi i'm going to select it and you need to make sure that uefi is selected let me zoom in if it is selected on legacy then your bootable windows will not boot and you will get a black screen 
so you need to make sure make sure that you have uefi selected if you don't select it then whenever you're going to boot your usb it will be a black screen and you will have dot pattern on it so make sure that uefi is selected and now we can just uh, back go back from it and now it's going to automatically boot our windows uh, usb with the correct rpt format so it's going to boot it up because i changed the boot settings to boot our usb drive first so here we got our blue screen okay we're going to install windows i'm going to press on next after selecting my language region install now setup is starting you are going to accept the license agreement press on next from here custom install windows we are going to select on that and this is the point where we got the option that we couldn't uh, install windows on the particular drive so we are going to select the first one and now we are going to press on next and now you can see that we are successfully able to install windows on this hard drive in the first case where we had the problem error that we couldn't install so guys this is how you can do it i uh, try to explain it in the best way as possible if you still have any questions write them in the comment section below and the rufus software link will also be just below the like button if you have any other questions also write them in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so other than that thank you for watching and stay safe